Hey YouTube, Kayak DIY here, and in this episode I'm going to show you guys how you can modify a GoPro housing, um, actually just the back door, so something easily replaceable. Um, these are super cheap if you find them online, if you need an extra one. But we're going to modify a GoPro Hero 3 or 3 Plus back door. And this might actually work with new GoPros in the future, so if you're looking at this video and it's a few years old, still might work. Um, GoPro really hasn't changed their cameras that much so this still might work so keep watching. Um, we're gonna modify this housing here. So this here is the backpack housing and it's the waterproof one that's solid plastic. Now you're not gonna want to use the one that has the touch the touch uh, screen because that's not gonna be tough enough it's not gonna work for this application. You're gonna want the solid plastic one that is fully sealed, is not skeletonized. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna drill a hole in it. And you're gonna be thinking, what the heck? I want this thing to be waterproof. How am I gonna get the 20 plus hours of battery life by drilling a dang hole in the waterproof hatch? Well, you're gonna drill a hole like this. Now you're going to think, what the heck am I going to do with this big hole here? Well, I drilled a hole the size of 31 sixty-fourths. So, 31 sixty-fourths. That's the size of the hole that I drilled. And what we're going to be using is, we're going to be using one of these. This here is a cable gland. And I'll have all of the items for this in the video description below. We drilled the hole. So, drilled the hole with the 3164 bit. And then we're going to simply put the cable gland through there like that. Now these cable glands, they come with a nut and there's a rubber seal here and then this piece also unthreads off and then when you tighten this piece it cinches tight this rubber seal which allows you to be able to pass a cable through and create a seal around the cable therefore this little thing here allows you to pass a cable through the housing and maintain a watertight seal so that's basically what this does. This is a PG-7 watertight seal as a range of three millimeters to approximately six millimeters of, of, of cable that can fit through there. So cable three millimeters to six millimeters will fit through here and be able to maintain a watertight seal. So we just put that in there and now you can see the threads on the back side. We are then going to put the nut on the back and we'll tighten it up. And once we've tightened it up, we get something that looks like this. See? Okay. Now you're wondering, well, okay, so we're making it so a cable can go through here. Well, still, what the heck, you know? How is this going to work? Well, that is what what we're going to end up doing is we're going to actually use what's called a battery eliminator. Now a battery eliminator is available in the video description below. You can take a look at it and you can purchase it there. It's literally the best price you're going to find on the web. The battery eliminator is what makes this thing work kind of. So it replaces your battery with essentially um, a battery like adapter but there's really no battery in it and it will have a USB cable coming from the pack so it'll snap right into where your battery normally would be but it's gonna have a USB cable coming off of it 
And we're going to run that USB cable through this cable gland and that's what's going to allow our camera to run off larger battery packs as well as AC adapters and even uh, like your auto adapters, all that stuff. Um, anything USB related basically is going to be able to power your, your GoPro which is pretty cool. yet you're going to maintain a watertight seal so what we're going to do is you know the battery eliminator is going to have a cable you know and we're going to actually have to cut the cable and run it through so here's like a cut cable a cut usb cable or whatever we're going to have to cut that cable run it through and then you're going to have to re-splice it and I'd splice it in the inside. That's what I would do. So I would make the splice so that it's in the inside of the housing. And the reason for that is you're compromising the integrity of the cable. So make sure it's also inside the waterproof housing just because it's going to add to the waterproof factor. So right now you can see the GoPro is on and it's in the case. I currently have it powered via the USB cable and the battery eliminator. And so on the back here is the cable uh, watertight adapter that we ended up putting in. And you can find that in the video description below as mentioned earlier. So now we're going to submerge it in a sink of water. Now. I've already tested this and you should be testing it as well um, to meet your needs. So if you're a diver, uh, don't put your GoPro in it immediately. Instead, just leave the battery eliminator there, close up the housing um, without the GoPro and just take it down to whatever depth you normally go at and check to see if there's any moisture inside after the dive. And if there isn't, then you know you have a good watertight seal and you can put the GoPro in it and you should be able to have a watertight um, chargeable, USB chargeable um, setup. Obviously, if you're going underwater, you're going to need to make like a battery box or so and use another one of these cable glands and put a battery in a, a separate pack but it's going to allow you to have a lot more battery life. So, there, it's underwater. And now I'm recording. And now I'm recording. So there it is. That's the test proving to you that it is possible to do. Hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and check out our Facebook group and our Facebook page. We actually have two different ones. Um, the group is to allow uh, others to just be able to post and discuss and it's kind of like a little community of DIY kayakers. Um, and then the page is what allows us to be able to just send out news letters like so for instance if we have a new video out we'll post it to the Facebook page so here is the completed project thanks for watching